So what's good you two? What's up with your man? It's your boy I drop shot 23 back at again with another video and first and first make sure you guys hit that like button hit that sub button if you guys are new to this channel and more videos will come out of the way now guys this is much a quick replica video of um, Paul George in NBA 2K23 now this is the younger version of Paul George so back then so back when he used to play for the Indiana Pacers um that's the team that he actually got drafted on back in 2010 so i'm not gonna do too much talking so let's get straight forward into it now guys you guys want to um for his position as a small forward now paul just played um at that time um he was mostly playing shooting guard actually with danny granger but i guess um for position he won't play as a small forward he majority they play for small forward and then uh, jersey number of course the same now guys after you guys reach here just make sure you guys um, put his height at 6.9 weight 220 and weight spring 6.10 um Borges is 6.9 at row so um that's why um you guys have to put high for 6.9 but the shape doesn't really matter you know you guys are not at this point um, i just chose the fine but you, you could choose any body shape you guys want to and then um after you guys are done all that you guys should reach um here and then any attributes that you guys see on the screen guys go definitely copy the attributes and stuff but you should get 19 23 13 and 10. so i'm gonna quickly just explain um like what's the key badges if you guys want to make this build now um this build overall is actually not a bad build this is actually a pretty good build because it has a lot of like key badges that like um we definitely we definitely want for our my players and stuff and this build is um, a 6.9 meta type of build so I'll definitely recommend you guys to definitely make this build and this is the younger version of PG but um, but the first thing you guys will notice is that obviously, obviously this build gets 19 finishing badges but the first thing you will notice is that uh, you end up getting on limitless takeoff on gold as a tier two only because um you're a small forward so that's where you get the limit stick off as a tier two badge but that's a major major w um that that right there would definitely save you a lot of um badge points and stuff you also get arrows in a hall of fame i mean it's pretty good too but honestly you only need, need on um, bronze like bronze and silver that's much it you get um silver post riser on as a tier three badge not the best but you can still work with it mind you get 90 finishing badges so you do have enough badge point to put the push on silver and stuff you, still, you get 70 finishes so overall like you get pretty good finishing badges and your driver dunk is at 92 so that's good to us more with 70 post control now when it comes to shooting this is where like paul george like uh specialized even like early, early on in his career uh, he was definitely a really good three-point shooter, so it makes sense that he has 23 shooting badges. But as you guys could see, like he has a, a 77 mid-range, but your three points are 92, so that on back he locks you on goal limitless takeoff. I mean, not take about goal limitless range. I meant to say you also get on blindness on gold. You get on you know, dead on goal. So keep in mind, like all those badges that I just mentioned, it's the key badges. You also get a gold agent three, very 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 important because um it, it's definitely gonna help you hit fadeaways. But imagine hitting fadeaways on a six nine, bro. That shit cheesy as fuck. That shit cheesy, bro. Um, that's much what you get. Now for playmaking, um this build also gets nineteen. So you end up getting the gold quick first step. I wish this build could have gone all of quick first step. Um, but you're pretty much two points away from getting a hall of fame quick first step because you need you need an 89 ball control for that uh you also get the gold unblockable so that's pretty good as well but it's a tier 3 badge unfortunately but only because you're a small forward so like then the game's not gonna give you just a, a tier 2 badge um and then like the rest of like the um playmaking badges is just like these same playmaking badges, badges that you're getting um, like obviously an ankle breaker, like an ankle breaker Hall of Fame is alright, you know. Um, 
and you also get a hyperdrive now hyperdrive is pretty good um, as well i'll definitely recommend you guys to uh, put a hyperdrive for sure but overall um, you saw and again the 75 pass accuracy so you still get the lebron pass style and your speed boss at 71 unfortunately you don't get jordan but like you know like you still have a pretty good spirit ball and then finally um this is a defense right here. now for defense i was kind of disappointed just only because he says it's pretty the defense um there's nothing else that is really standing out like i mean you could say his defense or rebound is a 70 but adding that like you, you only have 10 defensive badges and for rebound chases it's tier 3 badge so unfortunately you cannot lock it at all um, you also get um a 60 steal I mean that's for bronze interceptor but honestly there is no requirement for that so besides his pre the defense there's nothing else that is like outstanding on you know, any this build like for the defensive side of the ball that's in that and then your speed is a 77 your acceleration is a 76 um your vertical is 82 definitely makes sense because you get every single um, dunks in the game and you get the uh, elite content dunks as well and your stamina is a 90 so overall actually not 90 it's 89 but that's much of the build now i'm gonna show you guys the takeover options so you end up getting on um, the slashing take shot creating take um sharp take and i believe you should get a lock take on that so that so that's much the four uh, takeover options you guys will see but i pretty much one with double the mullets just because like um at this point like the bills already like, the bills already great at finishing um you have a high driving dunk so like no matter what like you're gonna be finishing pretty good at the rim especially if you know how to time like the dunk beat and stuff you will definitely finish around the rim so like you might as well just give it a double limitless so that um so that will be hard for um your opponents to even guard you this and that bro but um this secondary take is the same thing um same um take over options this and that but yeah but this is pretty much you know like a build on um, myself and after yes have done all that you guys should get um corporate so michael finley Jalen Brown and Brandon Ingram, and as you guys can see, you have a full sheet unlock PG 13. And this is a replica build right here. Um, I would definitely recommend, um, especially okay, especially if someone's new to playing this game and they're trying to like uh, figure out like making a first build. This is literally a perfect build, I definitely recommend for real. This is like a 69, like made the build that cause like damn you almost do everything but if i was to make this build um especially for like finishing badges and stuff the first thing i'm doing is i'm definitely pulling that limits take off on gold just because like i said like you're saving so much like um badge points off it and it's a tier 2 badge i end up calling the push riser um i, I did pull the arrow wizard on brown just so because like it's gonna help me like catch laps whenever um Whenever my teammates is gonna throw me laps and stuff. I also um, end up putting Acrobat on Silver, so really we finish it on Silver. And, I, and for my last batch point, I put on a Wizard on Silver. Now for shooting, um, this boy gets 23 shooting badges. So I end up putting on, you guys will see, I, I for sure end up on Bomb Shooter. Um, I put Agent 3 on, uh, Agent 3 is very, very important, it's gonna help you. Um, make fadeaway three pointers, but after dribble type shots, spin jumpers is gonna help you make all of that. So you definitely need that go HA3. Um, I end up putting green machine on Browns just because Browns green machine definitely helps you a lot. It helps you like make your shots. This and that. So that's much all you need for this year's game. Like, green machine on Browns. I mean, it all depends on your three pointer. If, if, if you have a low three pointer, then I'll definitely put the green machine high. But if your three points high, like in the high 80s and like over the 90s then i'll definitely put the green machine on the rounds because like you, you have such a high three pointer um i put amped on gold midi position on gold and that's much more shooting badges now for playmaking um this will gets 19 again so i end up putting a um, quick first step on gold on this special delivery on browns now especially delivery is just for like um if you want to flash your passes and want to lost your teammates so that's like good like passive best to have same thing as a little threader um i know um i know my 
you know, Toyota's only on bronze, but like I said, your price accuracy is only in 75. So, actually, uh, he's on silver, my fault, but like, yeah, but silver and Neo Toyota is not bad at all, because your price accuracy is only in 75, so that's why you only get on silver, and I put on placable on gold. Now, finally, for defense, this one only, only gets 10. I'm very disappointed. I feel like this boy should get more defensive badges. But I, I end up doing um, Silver Challenger. Now, Challenger is very, very overpowered. I might make a video on specifically like how um, how OP Challenger is. But overall, this is um, all the badges. So from finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense. So, um, like I said, this is the off ball judge replica build. Um, and you guys comment down below how you guys think about this build. I didn't, uh, I'm out.